Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, my name is Josh, as you can see in the bio. And I have a 2022 Nissan Frontier I bought. Initially when they first came out, I want to say about three years ago now at this point. Uh, I was kind of random. I traded in my Ram Rebel for one. I was like, yeah, I want a mid-sized truck one day. And I was like, yeah, I get a Tacoma. Pay like 57 I think at the time it was for the same options as the Pro 4X, which I got the dealership down to like, it's like 42, fully loaded everything in it. Um, yeah, it was 42, and then out the door after my trade in, it came to like 20 something and some change, but uh, it's definitely a better value I feel like than a Tacoma. Uh, the resale value on it, who knows? And, Probably depreciates more than Toyotas and Jeeps, but I love the truck honestly. Going from a full size down to a mid sized truck, it's, it's a pretty big change because I'm used to being like, like much higher up, not being able to fit in certain spots or certain trails and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, so I'm just going to digress from that before I go into a rabbit hole of just talking shit because I don't actually know what the hell I'm doing. I've never talked to a camera before. I don't really even know where to look, but I'm just going to assume it's not at the camera and it's like behind the camera, like if I was talking to a person on the other side of the screen, which would be you. I don't know. I, I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't know. But what I do know is I've been trying to learn as much as I possibly can to provide you guys with the best content that I possibly can with the given equipment that I have. So the first few videos I've posted as you can see, they're pretty, honestly, for lack of better words, they're pretty shitty. There was no real planning or shot framing that went into it, or no thought process. I was like, oh, I'll just fucking put my camera down here. Well, I didn't even have a camera at that point. I had my iPhone, my iPhone 14 Pro Max. That's all I had. That was it. And a uh, fucking DJI Osmo 6 gimbal. And that's how I shot those videos. That's why it looks like that. Because I had no idea what I was doing. If I did, it could have looked a little bit better. But anyways, yeah. So I got a Canon R100 uh, mirrorless camera, which I am filming this on right now. And just using the lens it came with. I actually ordered a 50mm lens, but I'm a retard and I ordered an EF lens and not an RF. I don't know what I'm doing. Once again, I'm just going to clarify that I had no idea there was different fucking connection points for these cameras kind of an idiot but you don't you don't know what you don't know and you know, like I was saying I want to get you guys better content so therefore I started investing more money in equipment as opposed to actual stuff for my vehicle and camping I want to be able to get the quality of the content a little bit better uh, just excuse me I got my dog in she's really needy oh boy so yeah, as I was saying, the microphone audio quality is going to be much higher. Um, as for lighting, like I said, I've been trying to learn as much as possible in terms of videography, cinematography, editing, and during all this, I'm also working on learning how to, I wouldn't say make, because I'm not really making it, it's already scripted and coded, but it's through, it's hosted through Wix. So I'm basically just dragging and dropping photos, making the layouts for a blog website that I've been working on now for like, maybe a month, if that. Maybe two actually, I lied, maybe like two months. But yeah, it's been a lot. I've been trying to take in as much information from every aspect of what I want to do. And that's usually the way, historically myself, I find uh, that I retain the most information is when I'm just taking a fire hose of information into my fucking brain. Uh, obviously, you're not going to retain a majority of the information, but I feel like, proportionally speaking, when you're intaking a vast amount of information like that, you're going to probably tend to retain more information. Some of it might be redundant, pointless shit, but nonetheless, uh, like I said, videography, cinematography, editing, basically everything to get you guys better content is what I keep saying. I'm just focusing on that. Better content. The content I have now is trash. I'm not going to delete it because later on maybe it would be funny to do a comparison of when I first started this shit to where I will be eventually 
but I mean there's no ceiling to it it's just all I wouldn't even say it's really gear dependent it's more learning the skills and the little niche type of like tips and tricks and shit like that where you can edit stuff make stuff look better audio quality wise make it sound better just a bunch of little things that all come into one I guess final product uh, that you guys will be viewing and I'm going to be obviously cutting this video just piecing it together because it would just be long as shit and I'd be rambling like I am right now but like I said I'm going to try to get you guys better content. Not try, I will get you guys better content. Uh, I've actually started writing down in my reminders on my uh, laptop and on my phone what I want to push out as for uh, in terms of content to you guys. So I'm trying to make a planner where I focus on I want this product, I, I want not want this product, but I want to put content out for this product and then I'll dive into it in my head, myself. I'm like, how can I get these shots and frame things for B-roll? Uh, like, what points I need to drive home about these products instead of how I've been doing these things? And you can tell I've just started out and I don't really have a plan. But now I'm starting to actually have a plan of attack for all this stuff. Like I said, planning out shots, framing stuff, driving home different fucking talking points on items and why you want it, why you wouldn't, the pros and cons, instead of just filming myself installing some bullshit half-assedly. Um, obviously, I don't have any kind of studio set up right now. Uh, I am active duty uh, army, so I'm just living wherever the fuck I end up going. So, uh, but hopefully within the next year or so, that's not going to be an issue anymore, and I'll have a, uh, I guess, a more permanent um, residency where I can actually do stuff to my own house and not be renting. It's kind of a pain in the ass trying to do all this while I'm doing this. Uh, There's just a lot of stuff going on. But, um, yeah, better content, a million time, that's it. Uh, yeah, that's it. Just going to be pushing out better content to you guys. And I will upload another video later on once I figure all this shit out. But right now, this is just like a, hey, welcome to the fucking channel. Uh, this is what I'm going to be giving you guys or be uh, providing the viewers with, I guess. Because right now, I thought about it also in a way where time is the most valuable asset you're ever going to have in your life. And you're never going to get it back. Money is money. You make it. It comes and goes. Time, once it's gone, there's no return on it. And in my eyes, if I'm watching a video, I want there to be, I want it to be worth my time. And if I'm watching some schmuck like my other videos that I've posted so far, I'm not going to fucking, I, I wouldn't even really honestly watch it. And I appreciate you guys that did watch it and commented. I appreciate it greatly. But to be 100% honest, if I saw some shit like that, I'd be like, what the fuck is this piece of shit? You know what I mean? But, um, yeah. Like I said, it all comes back to the main thing that I started talking about at the beginning of this, which is quality of content, and it's going to go way up once I learn more. Like I said, the gear doesn't mean too much. It's more so the knowledge. So, that's really it. I don't know what else I could touch on. I would greatly appreciate it if you guys could subscribe to the channel, uh, whatever, like, comment on the videos that I've posted so far, just so it starts. I don't even know how the fucking algorithm shit works, but I would assume the more engagement you have, the more YouTube will start to recommend your videos for stuff. And, I mean, if I start that off now in my head, get the ball rolling slowly and start building this whole little thing that I'm going to try to do here. Yeah, uh, that's it. Thank you.